I guess I'll give you guys the latest Javier Millet update. This last week, it was revealed that Javier Millet, the reason why he had basically no job his entire life is because his dad is filthy fucking rich off doing business with the state. And his dad, obviously, paid for his son's life with this money that he made off doing business with the state. So we have Javier Millet, this um, libertarian guy. He, he had like this unhinged, unhinged interview, by the way, where he said that his goal is to like destroy the Argentine state from within. Uh, let me play that first, because that that is... um. Something that everyone needs to see. Even without being able to understand it, you can tell that it's incredibly unhinged. Oh, this is the best news. This is the best way to watch it. This is this is what news in Argentina is like, by the way. This is what it's like. Like, I just listened to that for the first time before I'd only read it. And the way that he talks, like, I think it's like a it's like a parody dub, but no, that's actually what he said. That's that's what he said. Like he's like, I'm an infiltrator who destroys the state from within. Here we go. Milei, soy el topo que destruye el Estado desde adentro. ¡Amo! ¡Amo ser el tope adentro del Estado! Soy el que destruye el Estado desde adentro. Es, soy el, eh, digamos, es, como, digamos, es como estar infiltrado en las filas enemigas. Es decir, la reforma del Estado la tiene que hacer alguien que odie el Estado. He sounds like it's like a dub or something, but it's actually not. This is actually just what he sounds like. Like, it sounded like it was a dub of someone making fun of him to me, but it's, it's actually just how he talks. So what he said is basically, you know, I, I'm an infiltrator inside the state and I'm going to destroy it from within. Which, you know, when you're the president of a country, that's probably a pretty bad thing to say. So, yeah. Now, for someone who is a professed hater of the state, who openly says that he wants to destroy the state, isn't it interesting that his dad received $33 million in subsidies from the state? Isn't that interesting? Millet's family received $33 million in state subsidies during Kirchnerism. Now, not only is that in um, state subsidies, not only is his family clearly funded by state subsidies, not only did his dad's money, even when this guy was like 35, 40 years old, he was living off his dad's money, but from Kirchnerism, from like the government that he has rallied against the most. They are the ones who funded his life. So he's a libertarian, he hates the state, he wants to destroy it. Without the state, he would be living on the fucking street. Not just that, but his, his dad was like a, a, mo a bus mogul, like um, a guy who ran bus lines and was paid by the state to do so. And his dad was convicted of not paying taxes. That's why we know how much how much he received. So yeah, you know, he, he's destroying the state from in, from the inside, he says. Oh, but only I'm after consuming. his family got 33 fucking million dollars in state subsidies. Only after leeching off the state himself does he want to remove any possibility of the state helping anyone else. This is what libertarians are. This is really who they are and what they're all like. They want the benefits from themselves and they want to make sure no one else can get them. It's pure resent politics, pure hate politics. Apart from that, there was another funny story, very funny, not funny, actually sad, of the Millet government this week. So this isn't is going to make any sense to you guys. But um, this is a translated article. The headline is about... Uh, a scandal in the Ministry of Human Capital, which is literally a ministry that Millet's government made. Like, they, they took the, like, the Ministry of Work and another ministry whose name I forget, and they combined them and made a Ministry of Human Capital, because that's how they see human beings, as capital. A capital to be exploited. And in the Ministry of Human Capital, they contracted 150, like, high school rugby players and just started giving them, like, $1,000 a month each for no reason whatsoever. For literally no reason whatsoever, just because like they're friends or family members of the of the minister or something, I guess. They don't actually do anything, they don't work there. They're just like, okay, we're going to give these random rugby players, and by the way, when I say rugby, the significance of that is that in Argentina, if you play rugby, it's because you're like an incredibly rich kid. No one plays rugby except the, child, the children of the rich, it's like a status symbol, if you play rugby here. It's also like playing polo in other countries. We have that here as well, but we have rugby as well. Or golf or something. Here, instead of that, they play rugby. And when it says the, gno the gnocchi, I love that. Gnocchi rugbyers. Gnocchi is like someone who's like, um, paid by the state. And libertarians and liberals and shit always use it as like an insult against state workers or like politicians. Or anyone who receives money from the state. And since they took power, now everyone's using it against them. Like, you guys are the gnocchis. Gnocchi rugbyers. Incredible term. These guys are gnocchied. They're full gnocchied. That's fucking amazing.
But yeah, basically these libertarians took power and what they've been doing the whole time is just giving the state money to their friends, giving their friends jobs, using state money to go on exorbitantly expensive tourism trips to other countries for no reason. Millet's done that like 20 times. Like Millet just travels to the USA every two weeks to like visit a conference or something on state money. Not even like an official government, not, it's not, he's not there as in like an official government capacity. He's just there as like an individual. But every time he does it, he charges the state like, $100,000. So yeah, basically, the gist of this and the gist of this government is they are libertarians, yet most of them have literally lived off state money their entire life, the president certainly has, and the second they got control of the state and its ministries, the first fucking thing they did is give themselves, their friends, like just money for doing nothing, you know, taxpayer money for doing nothing, all while claiming that others are the ones who actually do this. Welcome to libertarianism, welcome to liberalism. Yeah, welcome to Argentina. It's a massive shit, shit, sir, shit show, and it's this is funny, sure, in isolation, until you think about the consequences that it has for everyone in the country, which have already been horrible and which are only going to get worse. Whatever country has not gnocchied rugby players, right? They're gnocchied up. Get gnocchied.